stick my finger down through the centre again, just to make the hole. Now, so it, the surface of it doesn't dry out while it's rising, I'm going to put a, some more vegetable oil or sunflower oil on an opened out plastic bag. And then I'm going to rest that over the top. Now the electric ovens that we have here in our test kitchen have a dough proving setting. So I've got it on that setting which is a nice warm temperature. If you don't have an oven with a specific setting then you can just put it in an oven on a very low heat or you can put it somewhere warm such as an airing cupboard and it will probably take about three quarters of an hour to an hour to rise and what I'm wanting is for it to be about double the original size. So when the loaf has almost finished rising, you need to prepare the glaze. And it's beaten egg that it gets glazed with, but a tip for getting a really nice smooth glaze is to sieve the egg. If you don't sieve the egg, you sometimes end up with stringiness of the egg as you're glazing it, which will make the glaze look uneven. So although it's a little bit time consuming, it is worth doing if you want a good result. So when you have the egg glaze, you can take the loaf out of the oven. And then the oven needs to be set to 220 degrees centigrade. which is gas mark seven. And then that will start to heat up while we're glazing the loaf. So I'm going to brush the glaze over the loaf. And I'm using a silicone brush because I find they're better than using the bristle ones because you haven't got to worry about any of the bristles coming off. And they're also dishwasher safe. So the oven is almost at the right temperature now, so I'm going to cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes and then check it and give it extra time if it needs it. So this is my finished cottage loaf, which I've let cool on a wire rack and then I'm going to cut it in a similar way to how I would cut a cake. So I'm going to cut it into wedges, following the scored lines as a guide. So you can see it's got a nice even texture to the loaf. So this is nice served with some butter and I actually like it as well when it's still slightly warm. Mm -hmm. 